Hey everyone in YouTube land. I am a little bit hoarse, so bear with me. I'm a little froggy today. I just want, yeah, I still have some Christmas stuff out, I have to admit. I got it up late, so I'm going to keep it out and enjoy it. But anyway, I have, um, I had a really super busy December, did lots and lots of commissions, and, um, going to be starting the Milan art program this year, which will hopefully teach me how to paint with oils and just add more tools to my art experience of 25 years. And so I'm super excited about that. And I'm so sorry about my voice sounding so weird. <clears throat> but I had two really special announcements I wanted to make. One was about uh, new resin courses that I'm adding on my Thinkific platform, and I'll put the link below the video. Um, I've got a resin playlist on YouTube, and a lot of times I fast forward the videos and put music to it just because the videos take 35 minutes to an hour, and um, some people just want to see the little tidbits of information and they kind of pick up what they need to and can get by with that. But I wanted to present full tutorials with no speeding up <laughs> and really just in real time making the pieces with resin and showing you how to do it so that you can learn the process because it's very, very satisfying if you want to delve into resin. So I wanted to show you, I've got eight classes that I'm uploading to my platform and they'll be super cheap. I'm thinking around $10. And uh, I might offer a bundle price where you can get all of them for a specific price. I haven't decided what that's going to be, but stay tuned for that. That'll be listed in the link when I get this uploaded and all ready to go. But I wanted to show you the pieces that I created for this Thinkific platform that are specific classes. Um, so let me just start with, um, I'm not, there's eight classes and I'm not even just going to go in the order of the classes. I'm just going to show you what I've created. I sold the set of coasters that went with this, but this is the bowl that I have left. And it's a beautiful, beautiful copper, gold, and white, very dimensional, shimmering bowl that's about 9 or 10 inches. Just a little slight bowl. Yes, you can serve dry food, uh, fruits, candies, chips things like that. You could actually put a little water in it and some floating candles or floating flowers and it would be super pretty. That's what I always suggest with any of the bowls. You can't microwave this, you can't run it through the dishwasher, but you can use it for a lot of different things or you can just make it a beautiful art piece. So this is one of the classes and I also teach you how to do a set of beautiful kind of strange geode shaped uh, coasters that go with it that are really gorgeous. So here's one of the classes. Another bowl and I did one coaster with this just for plain and uh, it's beautiful. It's got it's got shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see it because this is evening time so I'm in my house light not in the daylight. Um, here is the back side which is really beautiful back side of the coaster and it's just really unusual designs that the resin made and it's got glass bits in the middle colored glass bits just two really beautiful uh, unique pieces so this is another class and so this was a set of two that I was experimenting with different timing and techniques and I just think that they're gorgeous they have, to me, kind of a pine cone or coral reef kind of feel to them. So there's a pair of these, and there's a class how to do this particular technique. And then I followed that up 
with almost pretty much the same colors and I did a set of four and a different mold that's uh, much thicker with gold edges and kind of the same colors and so forth but it has a different effect a little bit more of a floral still in the greens and uh, turquoise peacock colors so these are actually spoken for they were a custom order but I made a class out of it to teach you how to create this effect. These are some of my favorites. Beautiful. I used coral and brown in the middle and um, they're kind of creamy petals instead of white petals. And then this beautiful sparkly gold and it, it shines through. These are spoken for as well but uh, the class is on how to create this beautiful effect and it's a two layer process but you do it in the same day and unmold it the next day so these are really super gorgeous another two layer process that you do in the same day these turned out really cool because they remind me of the old-fashioned ribbon candy and so I was just playing with different effects and I, you know, I explained exactly how much time, when to do it, the whole nine yards and uh, glitter on the back. Gotta like that glitter. So this is another class on this kind of old fashioned looking ribbon candy feel to it. I thought these were really pretty, pretty and delicate. Um, they're, a flower shaped coaster mold and you can kind of see through the layers but uh, it's just soft wispy petals or bursts or whatever you want to call it with a little soft purple in the middle and these little deep purple glass beads and they're really pretty on the back sides and so there's a set of four that I show how to do this effect and every step of the way. Love these. I think they're really pretty. And I need to put some stuff in my Etsy shop. I'm really behind on that because it was just a, a busy end of the year in December. And then here's my last class that I just did. And I think these are super pretty too. They're Valentine inspired colors. And they are dimensional florals with actual dried flowers in the center and beautiful kind of a rosy red and a magenta pink layer with the white very they have all kinds of sparkles you can't really see them super well in this lighting and then on the back side they are reversible most of all these are always reversible but there's uh, this effect on the back which is a shimmery red pink and white so a totally Valentine inspired color theme on this one super super pretty and lots of little shimmery holographic flitter flakes around the edge so those are eight classes that I did I would love for you to come check them out on my Thinkific platform, Embrace Your Creative Spirit. It's been a while since I've posted any new classes there. Okay, the other thing I wanted to post about or just share is, you know, I shared a story a while back in late August, early September about my Kintsugi-inspired women. And it wasn't just going to be about women, it was going to be about the Japanese tradition of Kintsugi, which is where they repair cracks in porcelain pieces. And it actually is a 400 year old tradition and it makes the pottery more valuable, more precious, and it is a metaphor for our lives as far as our healing from brokenness. When our cracks are filled and healed with gold, or God's Spirit, or, or however you want to put it in your words, um, that healing totally gives us a new lease on life. It's, it's my life story. 
I have had a lot of healing from brokenness through the years, a lot of trauma and a lot of healing from it. And I'm full of gratitude and I want to share that through my painting. And I just feel this, I felt this strong calling to start doing this Kintsugi series. And I did these six women and I plan on doing men and I plan on doing more abstract pieces and all that. But I, um, I want to let you know that I have I had six women that I created and sold five of the six originals. I only have one original left, and it's this one. She was the largest. She's really bigger than life size. She's 24 by 24 inches. And the background is metallic gold. The cracks are raised 3D with gold leafing. So this is the original, but I also offer canvas prints that are embellished, hand and painted embellished, and you can get those for at least half off. So you're only paying maybe half of what you would for the original, if not less. <clears throat> and I want to show you this hand embellished canvas print versus the original. Let me try to get them side by side. <clears throat> so there's a little more depth in the gold, but I have actually added the metallic gold back and I've done the gold leaf cracks and varnished it, hand varnished it. So it's all done and you really, really can't tell the difference between the canvas print and the original as far as the quality and so forth like that. And so I wanted to say that I can get a canvas print, embellished print for you. If you're interested, just email me. And I've got three here at the house that I have done. Here's one and I'm mailing her off tomorrow. She was one that, um, this is a, canvas embellished print, okay? So it's got the, the 24 karat gold from Deco Art back on the, the background and the raised cracks and everything. All those glorious details are still there in the print that I hand embellish. And then I also have her. She hasn't been varnished yet, but she's had her cracks put back on her and her metallic gold background. And so she is available. And I also have a couple of the other women that I can get. I just need a heads up from you. If you're interested in one and you want one of the canvas prints, just email me Sandra at sandralette.com and I will will get one ordered and you can you know, give me your shipping information and payment information and all that, and I can do those for you, or I can create a customized one just for you. It can be of a particular photo that you like. I found these women on Google, just searching women in different poses that I wanted. One, one she was like a yoga pose. One was, um, <clears throat> she was kind of looking over her shoulder. I just found different photos that I liked of women and then I painted it in this blue and white porcelain style. It doesn't even have to be blue and white. I can do it in any color scheme as far as what any porcelain would look like of any kind. Yeah, I could do from a photo of you or I can do it from a photo that you find, you know, on the internet and just say, hey, I like this woman's pose. Could you do the, her in a kintsugi style? I just wanted to throw that out there because I am definitely going to continue to go in that direction with my art. I, uh, I just feel a really strong calling to continue to paint about healing from brokenness and I'm going to go forward with that this year in 2023 and take this new Milan course, you know, it's an art course, online course, and it's at your own pace. It's a year-long program. I might take two years. You never know how long. I might take half a year. 
but um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the new things I learn, and I will be showing you, I'm sure, on YouTube. I've added a bunch of videos, but I haven't really shared them on Facebook or anywhere. I've just uploaded them and not really said anything about it, but there's lots of different ones that I've uploaded, and you can just kind of go through my video links and look through the different ones, so feel free to do that. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know what's going on. Thank you so much for hanging around and being a follower and a fan, and it really means the world to me. And I hope that 2023 is a beautiful year for you, full of goodness, blessings, good health, happiness. Isn't that what we all crave and want? <laughs> so, Happy New Year, and let's just have a wonderful year together. I'm also continuing on with the uh, Art Healing Hearts auctions, and that there's going to be one every month from February to December in the auction group on Facebook. The link is below the video if you would like to come join and just see what's happening, see the beautiful art each month. It'll be the first weekend usually of each month. Around the first Friday of each month is when we're going to do the auctions. So please come join us and support us. I would really appreciate it. So take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.